today we're going to simply explain options, more specifically put and call options and how they work. A call option is more commonly referred to as a buy option and a put option is more commonly referred to as a sell option. And to simply explain this today, I'm going to go over a quick example of how it works and the underlying basics of it. Now an option is derived from an underlying asset, could be anything. So let's make an example of how this works. So Johnny here, he needs to buy ham for his whole family, friends, relatives, everything for Christmas. Only problem is there's a lot of demand and uh, it's not certain that Johnny here will get the ham. So what can Johnny do? Well, for once, he can speak to a farm owner and see if he can make a deal. He can go to the farmer and he can say, all right, I need a guarantee that I can buy ham for Christmas. Uh, the farm owner can say, sure, I can guarantee that if you pay $50 today. They can negotiate and they can say, all right, so come Christmas, you can have the right to buy 10 hams at the price of $5 for each ham on Christmas. This is what's called a buy option. Johnny here pays $50 to the farm owner. The farm owner in turn guarantees Johnny the right to buy hams for a set price on Christmas. Now on due date, Johnny can either exercise this option and uh, buy hams at the negotiated price or you can go out and buy it in the supermarket if it's cheaper and then this one is worth less. However, if demand is very high and uh, prices skyrocket and uh, John here has the right to buy the ham for cheaper, then this has value and he can exercise it. Uh, also, maybe Johnny doesn't need the ham, he's just speculating. Then uh, he can buy this for $50 and uh, maybe sell it for more to somebody else who really needs the ham. So that's a call or buy option explained. A put or a sell option is basically the same, but the process is a bit reversed. So we have industry here. Producing light bulbs. They know how much they produce, they know how much output they can make, but they're not sure that they can sell everything that they produce. So what do light bulb LTD here do? Well, they can go to the market and find somebody who's willing to commit to buying. Yeah, they can um, say, um, I want to have the right to sell 50 light bulbs to you at a specific date for a specific price. Let's say uh, 100 light bulbs at uh, one dollar each. And uh, then they look in the market and see if they can spy, find a speculant that's uh, maybe going to say, all right, light bulb LTD, if you pay me $50 today, then I'm willing to uh, commit to uh, giving you the opportunity to on due date, sell me 100 light bulbs for $1 each. That's fine. And uh, come due date, if Lightbulb LTD wants to sell at this price, then the buyer has to buy it. That's the contract. And on due date, let's say that the market value of a light bulb is above one dollar, then this whole contract here is worthless. 
because light bulb and LED they can just sell their light bulbs to the market at a higher price. However, come due date, should the market value of a light bulb be below a dollar, then light bulb LTV here can choose to exercise this option and sell the light bulbs at agreed upon price and uh, make more than they would have if they had sold it purely to the market. So this is basically options explained. Thank you very much.